I do not own any of the haiku characters as well as music or pictures I will be using in this or future uploads. Drug dealers grab shirt. Thursday 4.45 p.m. Inoshita went online. Deshao and Teru are just so cute. Like the way Tarashima goes with his hand through his hair when thinking of something. Or Deshao just chewing on his finger when he's confused. Noya went online. Dude. Just confess already. Now why the hell would I do that? I will actually kill a bitch. Kinoshita went online. Love no. But I have to agree with the first one. Just confess. No. Nerita went online. I have been watching from the not ifs and Amar have to agree. Just confess for fuck's sake. Tanaka went online. Don't you even dare say a word. I'm. I get it I'm a hopeless romantic. Leave me alone man. Exactly why you aren't allowed to talk. And I don't even like them. End of story. At Kinoshita. Yes Nishi. Hold me back because I swear to fucking god. Inoshita, I want you to go deep into your brain and think about your feelings. Anyone wanna bet he will still not confess till the end of the week? Imar bet on the fact that he will. Alright then, how much? 4,013 yen? Deal. Anyone else want to join in? I have hope in Inoshita so yeah. So you are for the fact that he will confess? That's right. Noah, I'm against it. Zero faith. Writing it down RN. I'm. Did you all just place a bet on my feelings? Pretty much. Now shoo a flyin' and think about your feelings. I hope all of you choke. We love you too tone indicator platonic. Inoshita went a flyin'. At Kinoshita. Do you actually have faith in him? Not at all. But Amar still hope because I need money. Good to know we're on the same line. All of you are horrible. Can you blame us though? No. This man's head is way too far up his ass. Putting his phone away, Inoshita started groaning into his hands, falling back onto his bed. I have no idea what these idiots are on about. I have no feelings towards them that are romantic. No. On cue he shot up and started pacing around the room. I mean this is just idiotic. They are my friends. Both being in a relationship with each other at that. I need to get my mind off this. He looked around his room, his gaze eventually landing on some papers scattered across his desk, sighing. That would do it. He sat down looking at the multiple papers, notebooks and god knows what else was scattered across the desk. Learning will get my mind off them. It in fact did not. He groaned once again, looking at the papers which mostly was just pure gibberish for him. How the hell am I having problems with math? Math of all things. I really should ask Tarashima for some help with this. Maybe even bring Deshao no god fuck no. He pushed himself away from the desk, almost falling out of it in the process. Cállate chicara. It echoed from downstairs. Lo siento, mamá. Another sentence echoed from downstairs, almost inaudible, yet still enough for him to hear. Ese chico será mi fin algún día. And who would have expected it? Another groan escaped his throat, which he barely managed to hide with his hands. I can't even learn in peace without thinking about them. Inoshita took his hands away from his mouth, looking at them. Am I? His eyes widened quickly. In the same quick movement he hid his face in his hands. No no no. This isn't right. Was he really in love with those two? Fuck this bullshit. No. I do not love them and that is final. Now why the hell am I trying to justify this for myself? He looked up at the ceiling, sighing. I should ask Nerita for advice tomorrow. Friday. Location. Kerasuno 24 classroom. The teacher left some minutes ago, the whole class turning into chatter. And Nerita took the chance to finally talk to Inoshita who just seemed to zone out the entire day already. Are you alright? Huh? You look like you are zoning out every 5 seconds? Yeah, it's just. He sighed. Can you talk at lunchtime? Give me a second. The future captain cocked an eyebrow as the other pulled out a notebook, flipping through the pages, mumbling multiple and seemingly random words under his breath. Yes I am. Now what the hell was that? For some reason I have become the therapist friend and love advisor. 
which I'm honestly still flabbergasted about, considering I'm Eros. So I have started a schedule for literally every single one of you. Should I be concerned? Yes and no. Alright then. Where do you wanna meet? Behind the gym? Got it. Both boys smiled at each other before the teacher returned, the entire class shutting up instantly. Lunch time. Location. Kerasuno. Behind the gym. Inoshita laying on the floor. Meanwhile Nerita was sitting and leaning against the wall, munching away on his food. It really did look like a therapy session. On a budget. So, what you want to talk about? I think you know what it's about. Your little Daiteru dilemma? The other nodded. Ah, you finally accepted your feelings? No, I'm just going through an absolute romance crisis. It's just. Once again he groaned, shooting upwards into a sitting position, directly facing Nerita now who listened patiently. Confusing? Because for example, I rarely experience romantic attraction and suddenly I have that for two people. So you do accept your feelings? I guess. Alright then. Have you ever heard of the term grey romantic? In fact I have not. Nerita hummed, trying to find a way on how to explain it. It's practically when you experience romantic attraction, but not often. It's under the aromantic umbrella. It is common for people not knowing about that term. I myself only found it randomly when digging deeper into the arrow's spectrum myself. Inoshita's eyes widened in realization. His whole body practically froze up. In the meantime only two words escaping his body. Holy shit. Holy shit. Espera, ¿qué carajo? Japanese please. Sorry. The other snorted. First, good for you on finding your identity. I'm happy to help out. He smiled softly at Inoshita. Secondly, now that you finally acknowledge your feelings, do you plan on confessing? I'm, maybe. How though? I'm literally the worst at confessing stuff. Getting words mixed up and honestly just switching from Japanese to Spanish. Repeatedly at that, Nerita hummed, closing his bento box and putting it beside him. That is true. No offense but you are a disaster at stuff like that. Thank you for stating the obvious. Shut up. He sighed, looking at Inoshita. But you love them don't you? The other nodded. And you feel comfortable them, right? Once again, he nodded and the taller smiled softly and reassuringly. Then the words will come on their own, trust me. Inoshita pulled his legs up to his chest, resting his head on them. When should I do it though? That's completely up to you. If you want to finally make a move and feel like you're ready, then this week. But if you are nowhere near ready, then it can wait. I think I'll do it this weekend. Wait what? They were planning on meeting up anyways at Tarashima's house and invited me to come, which is actually a good opportunity. And a big part of it is just me not wanting Noya and Tanaka to get money out of that bet. PFF. Nerita started laughing, which made the other's lips also curl up. He could do this. He wasn't alone in this madness of his romance. This weekend would be finally when he would do it. He was sure of it. Inoshita kept luling at the doorbell, contemplating if he should ring it or not. His nerves went beyond the roof. Literally the entire day he has been messing up his words. Switching from Japanese to Spanish multiple times when talking to his mother, suddenly started speaking in Spanish when talking to his father who barely understood it. It. It was bad. He looked one last time at himself with him phone camera. Could you tell that he was about to have a breakdown? He took a deep breath and rang the doorbell. With each passing second his pulse seemingly rising even more until the front door finally opened. Hi Eno. Hi. Is Daisha already here? Oh yeah. He arrived like an hour ago. But he also fell asleep though. So I just let him be. The blonde shrugged with his usual goofy smile and made space for the shorter. But please. Come in. Right. Is your mother home? Not at the moment. She got held back in the office. The dark brown haired hummed as a response. Hanging up his jacket in the meantime. What about your sisters? Yuki is out with her girlfriend so you probably won't see much of her this weekend and Yuko is actually upstairs. She is? The taller nodded. But she is currently drawing so I ain't bothering her. Nor planning to. Good point. Dai is sleeping in the living room by the way. The other walked over to the living room door, peeking inside to see Daisha curled into a ball on the couch. Alright then, 
What do you plan to do in the meantime? He looked at Tarashima curious, who seemed to think of anything to do. How about we bake? You literally don't know how to bake. And you grew up in a bakery, so I have faith in you to save our asses. Inoshita snorted, walking towards the kitchen. If you say so, do you have an idea of what to make? Maybe lemon cake? For some reason I have been craving stuff with lemons. Okay, give me a recipe for a lemon cake. You don't know one per memory? I may have grown up helping out in my parents' bakery, yet I am still no god or my parents to be able to know every recipe per memory. Touché. Tarashima laughed when sitting down on the counter, tapping away on his phone. Which also resulted in him mumbling everything he brushed over under his breath. The shorter had to stifle a chuckle when noticing. He found it more than adorable. That's when he remembered. The confession. Moist lemon cake. Moist hehehe. <laughs> he started laughing, trying to muffle it with his hands. Are you seriously laughing at the word moist? Yet as if it was contagious, the dark brown head also started laughing, the kitchen now filled being with laughter. Okay okay shut up. Just give me the recipe. And so they started working on the cake, but as you know, plus and minus does in fact equal minus. Which basically means a lot of chaos. I broke the spatula. Why the hell did you even have a spatula? I don't know. Honestly. The shorter looked away from the bowls, looking at the blonde interested. If you'd put me in a room and the only way out of it is to eat a tomato, I'd die. Now when the hell would that ever happen? Just saying. I want to be a caterpillar. Tarashima slowly turned around, facing the back of Inoshita's head. Care to elaborate? Eat a lot, sleep a lot and you wake up beautiful. You do know they only live a week. Another highlight. I'm alright then. Inoshita sighed out of relief after finally taking the cake out of the oven, placing it on the counter, while Tarashima full of excitement and curiosity looked over the other's shoulder. I want to eat it. It's literally hot as hell. Like you. He muttered under his breath. What? What? All right then. Oh. Hi Deisha. Hi Eno. Ha? Huh? Oh hi Dai. The green haired smiled, while Tarashima ran towards him, plastering him with kisses across his face. We made cake, which is still too hot to be eaten. And the kitchen is still standing with Teru baking? I'm impressed. My exact thoughts. Now that is just bullying. Sorry sorry. It was now the taller's turn to give the blonde a kiss which he placed directly on the other's forehead. Looking at them Inoshita couldn't help but feel a slight envy, which he quickly shook off. We get it. You are gay and in love. Both boys looked at the smaller and started to laugh. Sorry sorry. Now while we wait, anyone want to watch a movie? Sure. I have nothing against it. Tarashima excitedly clapped his hands. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go. With that the blonde pulled both of them into the living room. Eventually they all decided on those sappy romantic movies without a happy ending. And God hit that shit hard. Yet one thing repeatedly and hardly struck his mind. And those were the words by the protagonist of the movie. My biggest regret is, that I never got the chance to tell him how I felt. Time moves more quickly than you'd think. I guess I hate that I wasn't able to learn that earlier. Even if I had faced rejection, it would be ten times more of worth than this. Inoshita clutched his fist as many more times those words echoed through his head. He bit the inside of his lower lip, a metallic taste soon following. He sighed, catching the attention of Tarashima who looked at him with concern. You good Eno? Huh? Now the attention of both boys were on him. It is now or never. Actually, I have to tell you two something. Then the words will come on their own. Trust me. The blonde stopped the movie. Both of the others full attention on the shorter who took a deep breath. I like you too. In. In a romantic way. I had for a longer time yet never had the courage to ask you two since you are in a relationship with each other. And I guess. I don't want to waste my chances. Even if now I'll probably face rejection and you two are going to hate me and... Chikara. Deisha put his right hand on Inoshita's who subconsciously started digging his nails into his legs. Will you let us speak? The other nodded as the green haired looked at Tarashima and back to Inoshita. We love you too. Both of us. He smiled as the shorter looked at them flabbergasted. Wait wait what? We love you too you idiot. We actually wanted to ask you out ourselves. 
That's why we even asked you to come here. Oh. Oh my god. The dark brown haired slapped his hands over his face. A muffled scream could be heard from him which made the others laugh. So, since none of us actually asked. Inoshita Chikara, do you want to give us the honor of calling you our boyfriend? Silence fell over all three. Quiet chuckling soon following. I'd be honored to. All of them smiled at each other in a comfortable silence this time. Gay. Yuko was seen happily munching away on the lemon cake to Rashima and Inoshita made prior. Yuko. Within a second Yuko ran upstairs, the blonde quickly following the older girl close behind. Idiot. The shorter laughed at that statement. Our idiot. True that. Daisha laid his head on the other's left shoulder. This was it. Finally he had what he wanted for so long. It felt like a dream. Yet if it was, he hoped he would never wake up from it. Drug dealers grubchat. Inoshita went online. At Tanaka. At Noa. Just made you guys 4,013 yen poorer. Wait a minute. Did you? I did. Woo. My friend finally has some bitches and him 8,026 yen richer. Good for you. Not so good for my pockets. I'm happy for you Eno. Thank you. Can I take back my part of the bet? Absolutely not. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and will return for future uploads. Have a good day or evening or night.